Hi, welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Hem Ventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India, and today I got a little bit of a different device to test out here because my friends over on AliExpress, they sent me this. And what this is, is a Retroid Pocket 5. It's a handheld gaming console. And that's good, but I'm no Retro Game Core or any of those other handheld gaming channels. I do ham radio. So even though this can emulate pretty much anything from the first computers to relatively modern systems, that's not really that exciting for this channel. Even though computer games has been a huge part of my life since, uh, well, since the mid 80s and my first Commodore 64 and probably before that, uh, just walking in and out of my neighbors that had computers and the early game consoles. But what we're gonna do here is to see if we can gamify ham radio a little bit with the mode that a lot of that guys, the lot of the sad hams claim is a ruin in ham radio. And that's FD8. Well, let's go ahead and um, get going. And as I said, this Retroid device was sent to me by AliExpress. And I got to deal with AliExpress every couple of months. I can pick some gear and they send it to me. And AliExpress is an online marketplace where you can get pretty much anything. Anything from auto parts to full-size campers to clothes to electronics to retro gaming devices like this. And more important for this channel, you can get ham radio gear there. And I like taking a look at the ham radio gear section of AliExpress and the adjacent sections to see if I can fin find anything I can play with ham radio with. So that's today's sponsored message. Let's go on. Let's see if we can make any QSOs with this device. As you probably can see, I'm done with my first CQ call, so let's see if we can get spotted here and if we can make things work. So, to answer the obvious question that you might have asked while well, you saw some of my FD8 here, can you do FD8 on a Retroid Pocket 5? Yeah, you can. You can definitely do FD8 on a Retroid Pocket 5. Um, that is, if you want to do FD8 Portable. My experience is that FD8 Portable takes a whole lot longer than doing sideband portable. I spent about 25 minutes now and got 10 QSOs on FD8. And well, that's my usual experience, but I promised you some, some details on the technical aspects of this. Because this little Retroid Pocket 5 here, it's not actually just a game console. Technically speaking, oh, and I pressed the wrong button here, let's see. Uh, Technically speaking, this is an Android device. This is pretty much an Android tablet with a really good AMOLED screen, a good processor, and some game pads attached to it. So yes, it's not that hard to do FD8 on a portable game console like this. If you want to go that route, though, I'll leave a link and affiliate link down below and some discount codes for the Retroid Pocket 5 or any other um, any other AliExpress product. Um, but if you want to go that route, make sure that you pick a portable handheld game console that runs Android or Windows. Although the Windows consoles are so expensive that you're probably better off using just a laptop because there are some consoles that run Linux, 
which is really good for gaming because they're specialized Linux gaming distributions, retro gaming distributions, but the hardware is so specific that there are no desktop Linux distros ported to those consoles, uh, with a couple of exceptions, but um, my experience is um, you're stuck with a four by three low resolution screen, you need to attach a keyboard, a mouse, you might not get everything up and running, you might struggle to run the app. So if you're not really much of a tinkerer and wanna do Linux and, and make that work, I got a Linux handheld and I've tried and I haven't really made it work. Um, so that's pretty much my experience though. So using an Android based one, it's, it's pretty much just a pimped up Android tablet, phone, whatever you wanna call it. So you'll have no issues running that on Android. Um, you might have on Linux though, but it's a good experience. And this little Retroid device is actually one of my smaller Digimode devices. And there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do, for instance, WinLink on it. So it's a good choice. And, and I gotta say though, I didn't primarily get this for ham radio. I got this for retro gaming and that's an honest thing for me, but as the experimental ham I am, I really wanna see if I can do other things on it and use it for ham radio as well. It's actually a pretty decent Android tablet. The screen is amazing on it. So again, if you wanna get the Retroid Pocket 5 affiliate link down below. Hope you like this video. It's a little bit different from what I do, but um, as you saw, I enjoy taking devices that are not meant for ham radio and turn them into ham radio devices. And that's what I just did. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you watched this far and dislike the video, which might just as well happen, hit that thumbs down. And um, if you have opinions, and I know you do your hams, leave them down below. And technically speaking, run, I ran the IC706 here and a Digirig mobile, so nothing magical there. It's just an Android device. And uh, if you wanna know a little bit more about FTCN, which is the um, Android app I used, um, you can check out one of my other videos. I got a couple of videos on FDHCN and how that works and how you set it up and everything. So uh, this was just to show you that you can run FD8 on devices you didn't think you could run it on. Anyhow, thanks for watching. I'm gonna stop babbling now. See you down the bands. See you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, 7-3.